And this is hopefully the last time that I ever have to use this stupid little, oh my God, 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 there's a light coming towards me and it's running towards me. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> what the hell is that? An overpacker. On a three day trip to the desert, I like to bring two water bottles, three hats, a Bluetooth speaker, eight dresses, 15 bathing suits, a lot of pool floaties, oh, and uh, sunscreen. Can't forget that. I like to be prepared for anything and everything. So ice cold, freshly squeezed lemonade. But what about a lounge chair to sit back and tan it? Had enough of the sun? Oh, I am way ahead of you. Okay, but what if I didn't overpack and instead pack nothing? Or next to nothing? Yeah. Tomorrow I leave for a three day, two night trip to the desert where it's gonna be over a hundred degrees and guess what? I can only bring or use whatever I can pack in the world's smallest suitcase. Not a lot of space in here, so this, this should be interesting. Uh, Dad, why are we in the middle of absolutely nowhere right now? What is this? This is where you're staying tonight. Oh my god, dude. Literally, what is this? This looks really awesome and all, but I feel like it's not a ton of room for the two of us. And also, where's the bathroom? Everywhere is the bathroom. Um, you said we were camping. I said you're camping. I'm going to a hotel with a casino in it. I'm gonna play some poker tonight. No, you're not. Yeah, you are staying with me right inside this little bubble. You know how dark it's gonna be tonight? Can you stop? No, seriously. Where are you going? Dad? I'll be back tomorrow. What do you mean? Oh. I gotta go. I gotta oh. check in. He's not actually leaving though, right? He would never do that to his own daughter. His only daughter. No, super cool. And and he's still out of here. No, this is really awesome, you know? It's just me and the world's smallest suitcase and um, little Domi over there. So. All right, this is gonna be fun, folks. All right, well, dome tour. All right, so it appears that there is lots of really intense security. Because to get into my dome, you just take this zipper and open it up. Just like that. That just makes me being in the middle of nowhere just feel so much safer. This is fantastic. Oh yeah, this is spacious. There is a lovely cozy bed with one blanket. And that's about it. Hang on. Ow! Oh. Oh. Ow, I hit my shit on the wooden bed. The only other thing in here is in fact bug spray. No, this is gonna be fun, you guys. Do you guys wanna know the best part about living in a bubble in the middle of the desert is? It's a million degrees in here. It's literally like a huge magnifying glass with the sun and now I'm dying. Whatever the hottest sauna you've ever been in is, this is probably nine times that. All right, now the last time I lived out of the world's smallest suitcase, I was in Hawaii, which is a tropical location. If I ever got too hot, I could literally just jump in the ocean and cool off. But you guys just so happen to be bombarding me with suggestions and now, I'm in the middle of the desert. You guys, I packed and repacked and packed again until I could figure out the absolute necessities that I would need for this trip. I know this is gonna look really confusing right now and you're probably wondering, Pearson, what could you possibly have packed? We'll get to that. But first off, I am burning up and it is so hot out here. And last time I got sunburned because of lack of actual sunscreen. Your girl is learning from her mistakes and I just so managed to fit two things of sunscreen. They look like ketchup packets. I'm not really sure, but it's sunscreen and I need it so desperately. Otherwise I will be burnt to a crisp in this desert heat. I have to use this sparingly because I only have two of these for this entire trip. So let's just, oh my God, I need it on the face. Perfect. Is it all rubbed in? All right, now that we're lathered up, we can dive into the next item. Now, as we know, in the desert, our biggest arch nemesis is the sun. Speaking of which, she's coming right out, right as I'm talking about her. What, bro? What, bro? Chill. You guys might be wondering what this is right here, but it is in fact something that might be my most prized possession of this entire trip. And what is it you may ask? We've got a handy dandy hat. So this was a hat that I bought from Michaels. I completely detached it so that I could roll it up and try and make it as small as possible. Luckily, we made it fit. And now we have our scrum diddly umptious hat. How do we look? I look like every golf mom ever. Four! Ow! Ow! Well, you know, we are in the middle of butt frick nowhere, but you know, there's gotta be something out here to see, something cool. So let's explore, shall we? Well, you know, we got a dome over here. We got a little plastic bag over here. A bush. Another bush. And another bush. Oh, and we got a cute little lizard. Hopefully there's no snakes here while I'm alone in the middle of the desert. 
Okay, wait, what is that? Hang on. What the hell? Oh my God, is that a shower head? You're joking. Oh my God, wait, this could save me. See, now I don't have to be completely dirty and disgusting and sweaty the entire trip. I have a shower. So of course in my tiny suitcase, I couldn't fit any water bottles or anything like that. So I got the next best thing because obviously a girl's gotta stay hydrated out in 100 degree weather. So I brought this. What is this you may ask? This is a life straw, which basically purifies any kind of water into drinkable water. But you can't just do it out of a shower head because it's not gonna work like that. So I needed to bring a cup. And what kind of cup did I bring? This one. A flat one. This cup is a collapsible cup. So all I have to do is pop it open and I have myself a handy dandy cup. Tell me this isn't perfect. Oh, there's a hair in it. Ooh. All right, let's get some agua. Please tell me this works. Oh, hang on. <laughs> She's drinking good tonight. I'm sorry, Fiji who? Aquafina where? You guys can't see it on camera, but there's little things swimming around in here, and I don't really like that. I don't think that sounds really fun to drink, so let's try our life straw out and see if it tastes purified and if I get little chunks in my mouth. Mmm. Yeah, it looks clear to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to like suck out because it's like purifying it as you suck in, so. <gasps> there's a bug! Yeah, I mean, that's good Good to me. I mean, it tastes clean and I didn't get any chunks, so huzzah! Oh my God, is that dad? Oh my God, that's dad. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back, baby. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, what have you been doing? Oh, you know, just having a grand old time. How's your lovely, comfortable hotel? It's awesome. Oh, is it? Yes. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's have you gambled pool, yet? A hot tub. It's got air conditioning, big screen TV, oh and a God. casino. Okay, well, you know what? Now you're making me a little bit jealous. Why are you here now? You wanna go do something fun? <gasps> I like something fun. Let's roll. Okay. What is Pioneer Town? It's where they shoot Western uh, TV shows and movies at. Whoa. Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, this actually is so crazy to be here. It feels like I'm in a Hollywood Western movie. Like what the heck? Let's go inside, shall we? Uh oh, dad found a lasso. If you had to guess how to use a lasso, what would you do? Oh wait, why do you look like you know what you're doing? But I see them spinning around. Yeah. Oh. Wait, oh my God, you just did that on your first? Dude, are you literally joking? Okay, I'm trying this, I'm trying this. Yeah! Hey, you got it. <laughs> nice. Hey, get the hell off of my porch. <laughs> hey, Dad, this uh, this cactus is probably like 100 years old. Almost as old as you. You have a bug on your shoulder. You have a bug on your shoulder. Ah! Oh, hell no. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. I'm in jail. I don't know when I'm going to get out. I don't know if I'll ever see my parents again. Pearson, Pearson, ah. just come over this way. Oh, dang. Who knew breaking out of jail was that easy? I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep rolling. You know, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Damn right it ain't. You best be on your way. <laughs> you got jokes, Sonny. I don't think so. All right, folks, you know what time it is. It's time to grub. Right behind me is a restaurant and I'm in desperate need of food at the moment. And if you guys remember from my last time doing this challenge, I rounded up any amount of cash that I had already in my bedroom and I was able to bring that amount. And so I figured just naturally we would bring the same amount, which is $34. I've got a whopping $34 to get me any food or any necessities that I want to spend, but I cannot go over this, otherwise I lose this challenge. All right, I need to spend as little money as possible because I need the most bang for my buck. So let's go grub, shall we? Finally. So this whole meal right here is $22. That means I have $12 left to my name, a bean and cheese taco, two brisket tacos, and an itty bitty thing of rice. I just need to save this for as long as possible so that it'll last me throughout this entire trip. Bon appetit. You guys, this is incredible. I know I was complaining a lot about the heat and I was complaining a lot about just not being in a hotel or in a tent and of living out of such a small thing, but I'm actually having the best time of my life. I'm alone, it's tranquil, I might meditate. I don't even meditate, but I might start. Like, are you joking? Is this not every Tumblr girl's dream? This is incredible. 
cool. But you know what? We're we're looking good so far. It is getting a little chilly outside the dome, but not to worry because your girl came prepared. What did she bring you at us? I brought loads of little matches and lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, so we're back on survival mode. It is actually so freaking cold out here. I'm praying to God that I can make a fire, but I've just rallied up some sticks, and I'm hoping that this little lighter fluid and my matches will do me good today. I didn't have room for an entire matchbox, but I did have room to just cut this thing off. So I'm just hoping that it works. Okay, let's just... We gotta save some of this for tomorrow night as well. So let's put this off to the side. We got our handy dandy match. Now let's light this baby up! Okay, I'm gonna light it. Oh god. Oh, here we go! Oh, she's burning! Uh, it was, that was the wind. That one was the wind. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing out here, dude. Burn, baby, burn! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm a fire starter. Burn! Baby, burn! I've done it. I built myself a fire out of just things that I brought out of my mini suitcase. This is incredible. Oh my god, and this feels literally immaculate. It's not even funny. Oh yeah, this is that good good. Oh my god, there's a bug that's about to fly into the fire. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire songs. Should we tell ghost stories? One day. No, nah, that's all I got. Okay, so I'm getting ready for bed, and I feel so disgusting, so I just, I need to get a little bit more clean. I know this is survival, but again, it's still hygiene, and I would like to not feel completely disgusting. So, I literally, I brought this last time, and it was my saving grace, because I just love when my face feels clean. I brought a little cleanser. This is the smallest size I could get, but I'm just gonna use this as soap. Our mini toothpaste and our mini toothbrush. Oh, God, what is, you know, it was traveling with all of my other survival needs and necessities, so it's gotten a little dirty, but that's okay. It's better than not brushing your teeth at all. And finally, the main event. Oh God, my hair, is that hair? Sorry, my hairbrush that still has hair in it from the last time I used it in Hawaii. It's better than nothing, even if it collects half of my hair. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, I hate this. Here we go. The fact that she's maintaining a skin routine even in the middle of the frickin' desert, slay! I know this may look like a little breath mint or maybe a piece of chalk. Watch and learn, okay? You see how hard it is, how tough it is? Wait for it. Oh! Just gotta get a little damp. It's a towel! Woo! Oh my god, revolutionary! Is this the best invention of the 21st century? Uh, yeah, it's a towel, so all you have to do is get it wet, and this is going to be my face towel for today. And it was so small and tiny, and I could fit it in my suitcase. I don't have a towel to dry off with, so I'm just going to air dry. <laughs> I didn't even shower. Oh my god, it's going to be so cold when I actually shower. Oh god. <laughs> I hate this stupid thing. All right, and for the main event, you guys know the deal. I, um, I gotta have underwear, okay? I've wrapped them in this little baggie, and, well, you guys know the rest. <sighs> it's so cold and it is so scary. I'm like actually really scared to be in this dome right now because everything is just blackness. I did not prepare well enough for the cold because I am still in shorts and a freaking tank top. All right, your girl needs to go to sleep, so uh, good night. Wow. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my life right now. I got probably four hours of sleep because of how cold it is in here. Oh my God, what time is it? It's 6.42 in the morning. It's 52 degrees, which means it was probably in the 40s last night. And I like to sleep in cold rooms when I have enough blankets and clothes to bundle me up and keep me warm at night. This is not it. I am 100% gonna get a cold after this. My throat is already feeling scratchy. One thing I should have freaking packed in the world's smallest suitcase is a freaking sleeping mask because apparently there's no such thing as sleeping in in the dome, okay? Because <laughs> apparently we're waking up with the sun. So, natural alarm clocks is what we're doing here. My lips are chapped, should have brought chapstick. The next best thing that we do have that probably <laughs> would help me is water. <laughs> oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Hmm, <laughs> refreshing and cold. <laughs> God, it's so peaceful out here. 
and quiet and tranquil and hot. The sun hasn't even been in the sky for more than a couple hours and it's already beaming down on me. So you know what we gotta do here? Bringing back the foam hat and we're opening up our second and last thing of sunscreen. I wish that I could put on a new pair of clothes today because I feel stinky and sweaty, but it's okay. You know, we're, we're working with what we got. I'm not gonna die from wearing the same clothes. It's a beautiful day to be stranded in the middle of nowhere. I'll tell you that right now. Usually at this time, I would be eating breakfast. Just a reminder, I've got no food in the world's smallest suitcase, but we do have the leftovers from last night. Rice and a bean and cheese taco. Best breakfast ever. I forgot to bring a fork from the restaurant. Oh. I have $12 left. I don't know what dad has planned for us today, but I'm hoping that he'll take me to some place that I can use those $12 wisely. I still have to last tonight as well as tomorrow with that money that I have left over. This has just been sitting in here, but I think because it was so cold last night, it's actually still good. You know, it's actually not bad. I don't know if this is the best taco I've ever had or I'm just starving. One thing I will say about being out here by myself is there's a lot of solitude. I'm definitely by myself and bored a lot of the times because there's just nothing to do. There's nothing really to look at. But I figured I would be bored at some point, so I brought a source of entertainment. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it was small enough to fit in my suitcase. Drum roll, please! A whoop -ow. It's a mini boom box! All right, moment of truth. Oh! Ooh, I could get down to this. to be here somewhere. I'm with my suitcase, living in a dome. It's really hot and I really wish I was home. Hey, hey. Dad's back, oh God, thank God. Oh, what is he doing here? Hey, bro. Was your first day? Oh, it was it was delicious, it was delectable, and it was hot. It was spicy and very, very exhausting. Okay, well we can turn on the AC. Oh cool please! A bit. Oh please. Uh, I've got something for it. Oh, okay. To cool you off. Even if it involves just sitting in this car with the AC down for that as well. We finally made it. Dad, where is where is it? We are at the Palm Springs Aerial Tram. Okay, what is the aerial tram? Oh oh my god, wait, is it we that? That. We're heading up there, way, way, way up there to the very top. Why does us going on an aerial tramway help me cool down? It's way cooler up there. What, do you, what, is that, what does that mean? It means that down here is warm and it's way cooler up there. <laughs> but what does that mean? Well, this sounds like a great time. Let's do it. Sorry, what did you say? He says it's 38 degrees. Are you serious? I literally told you it's cooler up there. No, you didn't. I said it's cooler. No, you didn't. You didn't say that there was. Oh my god, there's snow. I'm wearing a tank top and shorts. Everyone else is in a jacket. Oh god! That's where we started, and this is where we're at now. And I'm in summer clothes. Oh my god, this is the temperature? 30 degrees, oh god, this is not gonna be good. Oh my god, Dad, this is ridiculous. I cannot believe you. Let's I, go. I actually, no, no, no. Are you actually kidding me? This is ridiculous, no, this, this is like the funniest thing. Can you please record me? I'm not even in a regular shirt, I, so cold! You know, here's the thing. I don't even think that I could potentially even fit anything that would even be remotely warm in here. Like, no jacket, no scarf, no hat. Oh God, dude, my hands are frozen. Oh. I can't. Dad, you're shaking the camera because <laughs> okay. you're so cold. I didn't realize it was going to be this cold. You know what we need to do is we need to do things that are going to keep us warm. Jumping jacks! Oh my God, I'm literally frozen. High knees. You know what's crazy? I was just in 100 degree weather in the desert and now, oh my God! Do no Are you okay? Dad, are you okay? What happened? Oh my god. Oh my. It's a little slippery over here. Oh. Oh. I'm 
good. You just, I'm good. You just stopped, dropped, and rolled. Oh my gosh. What the hell was that? Okay, as you guys know, I had $12 left in my name, and now I've only got eight because I spent $4 on a hot chocolate. I needed it, I literally needed it. Now I've got a hot chocolate. Dad, what do you have? I've got my coffee. And they have the heat blasting in this cabin, which thank God, but you know what? I am literally never going to complain about being too hot ever again after what I just endured. Never again. All right, I think I am going to take the responsibility of choosing the activities from here on out, okay? What do you have planned? Oh my god, dude. Oh, are you kidding me? The dude! Wind, the wind took it. Dude, I know. Oh, let's go! Dude, I, let's go! Okay. I, think, um, I oh. think that was a stupid activity oh and whoever's idea that was is stupid. Look at my knees. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I ate was this morning for breakfast was was my taco and rice, and now I'm starving. Dad, can I ask you the biggest favor in the whole world? So I know you're leaving soon, and I know that I'm your favorite daughter ever, and also your only daughter ever, and so that must mean that you would like to keep me alive, and I haven't eaten since brekkie. Is there literally any chance that you can get me food? I don't have my wallet. Yes, you do. Okay, I have my wallet, but don't you have cash? All right, I have, I have $8. What are you gonna get with Dude, I literally don't know. Well, there is a liquor store right up the street. Oh, well, Dad, I don't need... I don't Not alcohol, <laughs> silly. I'm just kidding. Literally anything would be appreciated. See what I can get for $8. Oh my God. Okay, so Dad has just left, and now I'm here on my lonesome for the second night in a row, and I am more depleted of energy now than ever. Oh God, this is a lot. Just like the heat, the cold, lack of food, lack of water. This is a small cup, y'all. <laughs> the amount of sweat and water that is being depleted from my body is like not enough. But I knew I would feel extremely dehydrated at some point and I figured out I could bring something. It's not great, but hopefully it'll do the trick. We have got liquid IV, mofos. We've got liquid IV. Liquid IV is basically a hydration multiplier it was small enough for me to fit into my suitcase so this is hopefully gonna tide us over until we leave tomorrow but oh my god I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in here we need oh yeah oh yeah I guess I'll just mix it with the life straw <laughs> this is gonna be my saving grace right here Here's the thing, the life straw is actually taking out all of the liquid IV. I don't think I thought this through. Like this just tastes like water. I think I need the electrolytes more than I need clean water, so shower water from God knows where for the win. Cheers. Just, just the thought of it being shower water is making me want to vomit. I haven't showered in days. I actually haven't showered in days and I feel disgusting and I've been sweating in the same clothes. Of course I don't have a change of clothes and I desperately need a shower to feel me again. And of course you can't have a shower without soap specific for your hair, also known as shampoo. I don't know how I actually had this at my house, but I did. It's a sampler of shampoo. It's thin. I don't think I could have fit a bottle in here, but I could fit a little shampoo tester. And look at, there we go. We got some shampoo here, so I'm gonna do myself a favor and any Anyone around me a favor and <laughs> I'm gonna shower and actually wash my hair. Well I'm gonna get undressed now and I think that's where we uh that's where we leave each other, so you know. I'll see you in a sec. Very bad idea showering right before going to bed because now I'm gonna be going to bed with a wet set of hair and little to no warmth. I set up the fire which was good for a second but now I'm back to freezing and I'm just hoping that this blanket will get me through the night. And this is hopefully the last time that I ever have to use this stupid little, oh my god, 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 there's a light coming towards me and it's running towards me. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh my god, it's dad! Dude! Are you literally joking? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He brought food! Dude, you literally just gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. Freaking beef jerky. This is literally, I've been so hungry all day. There was no McDonald's, there was no burger. Did you try? Like yes. It's okay, we're, oh, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we've really done it. Have a good night, I love you. I'm going back to the casino. Dude, thank you for this. You're welcome. It's gonna get me through. One more day. 
One more day, baby. One more night. I'm gonna munch on this beef jerky and then I'm gonna go to bed. You know what? I can't believe that the world's smallest suitcase has gotten us this far, okay? One more night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Ah. Good morning, world. Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It is a good morning. Why? Because I'm leaving today. It's one last look at this beautiful view, this beautiful sunrise, because I am never coming back. And you know what? Surviving out of the world's smallest suitcase in the desert wasn't so bad. You guys thought you were gonna get me with your little desert suggestions? Well, try again, okay? Try something harder next time, something more difficult. Or don't, because I, I do like clean clothes and uh, normal-sized hairbrush. My dad's gonna be here any minute, and I cannot to wait to get in a warm bed. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> and now we're here. Did you just get scared? Yes, dude, I'm... Ow!